Before we jump into the loot route, I just want to point out that the kit you run can have multiple benefits when doing these runs. Number one, the MP7 and other small SMGs will allow you to stay under weight, which is almost impossible this wipe. I've got tier 3 armor on, tier 3 visored helmet. A lot of shotgunners doing their quests. This will keep you safe, you'll win fights, and you'll get your endurance boost at the start of every raid. Alright, so starting with the three-story dorms, you got five jackets on the bottom floor and a rare loot spawn. One, two, it's in room 101. Room 104, we have one jacket. And in room 105, basically the odd sides. We've got our four and fifth jackets. Down at the end of the hall, there's a couch that can spawn uh, rare items and barter items right here. Food items, etc. down here as well. Going up to the second floor, we have two safes. Four sets of jackets on this end, two more jackets on the other. So here first, the jump through room, you might know this because you need to get your quest keys before. Two jackets. 204, one of the keys you'll need. There's the safe. And at the end of the hall in room 202, two more jackets and med loot can spawn on that table. Jump back through. Very gracefully, of course. Some boxes you can loot. Uh, mags with decent ammo in them can spawn on these shelves. Down here in room 221, we have two jackets on the floor. One, two. And 214 at the end, we have another safe. Uh, ammo can also spawn on these tables. Very rarely is it high tier ammo, but you can get, you know, SMB for 762 by 54, etc. Going up to the third floor, marked room at the end. Also has two jackets next to it. If you have the key, it's worth running. If you don't, I usually skip these. There's plenty of jackets. Marked room here, right across from it. A few jackets. We run all the way down to the end on the left. Our last two jackets, and that'll conclude what I like to loot for the third story dorms. Uh, ba a backpack can spawn here, which can have uh, any kind of random items in it again. I believe they fixed that, and uh, containers are now spawning with items again. And here's the last two jackets. On to the two-story dorm first. 105 at the end. One of the least looted safes probably here, no matter what time of the raid you try to come loot. It's a pretty dangerous spot to be entering in late. Worth hitting if you get in on time. And food and drink can spawn on the, on the couch. Now inside, we've got two jackets on our left in room 108 in a duffel bag. Jacket, jacket, duffel. Can loot the dead body in the bathroom. Can spawn all kinds of uh, typical stash items. Food and drink can spawn in here. And then we have room 110 and room 114. Flash drives and a uh, couple of random things can spawn on the, on the bed, on the cot. And I believe food items and propane tanks, things like that, can spawn on this table. Safe. And then 114. Has a safe, a PC block, and a med box. If you're getting pinned in here, an easy way out. Through the bathroom window right on the other side. And finally, the second floor of the two-story dorms. Six jackets total. First in the bathroom, jacket, jacket. Cross from the bathroom in 211, jacket, jacket. You may know this from the water quest. Right after the barbed wire, two more jackets on the left. Filing cabinet that can contain informational items and lab key cards. Get your flash drives here, etc. And if you want to hit more filing cabinets, you can walk through this barbed wire and just heal up. And that is the run. And remember, because the run is fast and lucrative, you may have to fight your way in and out of the dorms. Oh, there are multiple a-holes. I'm just going for it. Is that as exciting as you thought it would be?
Oh, don't worry, baby girl. Prepper's got you now. Shoot your buddy a little. I shot him too. Hey, Sergeant Pepper, how you guys doing? What are you doing here? What it's worth. The hell? And remember, you don't need to kill the squad to ruin their raid. The reasoning behind backing out is honestly my terrain. I can only pop up over that hill unless I take 20 minutes to go all the way around the only other way and by then who knows where they are and I think it just it's always going to be a bad fight if, that's my real reasoning oh come on this is like a stock scar with a grip okay the scar is in great shape the next stream will be me running the scar out 100% sorry sorry mr. question mark